Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about data driven testing in Postman as part of Postman tutorial series. So let's get started. In case if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel for latest updates and videos. So data driven approach is one of the most widely used in IT sectors for automation or any uh, development purpose where we can pass the data from the external files like Excel, CSV, JSON, XML and property files. So this helps us to organize the test data in a proper manner where we no need to provide those test condition or test cases, I mean test data in, in our test, in actual test. So this helps us to organize in them in correctly and we can pass different conditions, different sets of conditions by using data driven approach. And in the postman, we will use this data driven approach for one of the service. So I'm using the post service. So this is my request URL and this request URL accepts the body which is in the format of JSON. And let's jump into our postman tool and uh, write our data driven approach. So let me open my postman tool. So once we are into postman tool, we will do a new collection created first, then we will add a request to the collection. So we can add the collection from here or uh, we go to the files and we can go to the new and where we can create a collection from here. So I will name this collection name as data driven and click on create. So here I have this data driven created. So what I will do, I will add a request under this collection and my request is demo data driven and click on save this request and here is a request created under my data driven collection so this request is the post request and we need a url here and we need a body for this request so let's click the option body and click on the raw type so and place this body here and this is a json so we need to select json option and uh, we will directly click this send button and see whether this request is running correctly or not yeah, it is running correctly we got success 200 okay so now what i will do i will try to pass the parameters from the global variables or and same we will do it from data driven approach so what i will do i will copy this from here let's say cut and here if you mouse over in this i icon we will see environment quick look so under environment quick look just click on this environment quick look and here we have environment and globals so create under globals click on edit and under in, in the globals we will add a variable called email and my email value is this and similarly for password and for password we will use the same password that's we are using for and now click on save so here we got these two variables created under globals and we will call them in no, into our body so under body i will say email and end with curly braces similarly for password password and again now what we will do we will try to run this again whether it is running with this parameters or not so let's quickly run yeah it is running correctly so we got the 200 okay so this is how we parametered the email and password now what i will do i will try to call this email and password from the external file for that i will do create a note a json file first so let me click notepad and this notepad i will save this notepad as json so let me save it on desktop and this is as data dot json so extension as json so click on save so this json uh, has a format like this and uh, 
so under this curly braces we need to provide our values so i use the same parameter we need to use the same variable which we have given here so i given email so we need to use the same uh, key here and the value should be whatever we wish to give so we can give the value which has been uh, given in the service request so this is the uh, details so i can directly copy this here and i will use them here and but i have uh, changed this password as pwt right so we will say pwd yeah so in case if you have to give another set of data then click a comma here and again you can provide another set of data and similarly we can uh, copy this details from here and uh, we can click here and i can change this as to other like and my password as so let's save this and close it and here we have a data which has been created in the format of json here we can see this has been given in the json format so let's close it and jump into postman standalone tool now this is the most important point where so we have created similar kind of properties i mean variables in the json file and here in the collection in the collection level we need to click on this arrow icon so if you click on this arrow you will see the run button which is called as a collection runner you need to click on this run then it will load a new uh, window of collection runner and here i am not using any environment in case if you are using any environment you can select the environment in case if you declared any environment so iteration should be one and delay should be zero in case if you wanted to iterate multiple times you can use the uh, iteration count to be increased and here in the data we can select the data file which we have created just now so i will click here and i will take this data and as soon as i selected so it is a data json you will see the data file type has application json and you need to see the preview before you click on the run so if if the preview gives you any error then that means our data file is not correctly structured so let's click here and see now you can see here we have two sets of data uh, which we have created in json file so that is being organized correctly in case if it gives any error then you need to correct that json file and now what i will do run the data driven so as soon as i click on run data driven you will see it ran for two times because we have used two sets of data so this is how we will use a data driven approach for json file in case if you have a uh, excel or csv i will show you now how can you do it a csv file approach so because it gives you the bad request because we are not using the correct details so we are using some junk details so that is the reason it is given the bad request and one request has been 200 okay because we are using correct details so let's close this window now now we'll try to create a excel or csv I will create a CSV file. Let me use Excel. Let me take the new workbook and let me save this first. So I will save this as save as. So I will save on my desktop and this should be CSV. So I will say test data and it's a csv file click on save so as soon as we save and here here i am using two approaches right so for this what i will do i will give this as email and pwt so we need to provide the same set of details that we are trying to give uh, in the body so let's copy this value from here and paste it here and similarly password and here you can you can give any data like i can give test data at the rate gmail 
dot com and I can give you demo and we can provide different sets of data we can copy the same and we can provide multiple times see now here we have created five different sets of data let's close this now again jump to our postman tool now again go to the collection under collection click on the arrow and launch the collection runner and now this time we'll select the csv file open so as soon as you click on that csv file you will see data file type is text and csv and we need to click on the preview must you must see the preview before you run any request in the collection other so let's see the preview you, here we can see the five test data so five test data types we have been seeing which we have created in the excel csv file so it is giving a proper preview then click on run data driven so it, this will this time it will run for five times because we have given five sets of data so first request will only pass because the other request will get failed because this is the accurate data correct data so like uh, like i have if any gmail or any kind of login function that we are trying to verify like providing a valid username password invalid username right password right password invalid user invalid user and invalid password and no data for username and password so this is the conditions if you wanted to verify in the postman then this is the correct approach you can use a data driven and this is a very much useful and very handy when in case you are using a large set of data so for example any employee detail employee detail you wanted to fetch is from our excel file then you can use this approach so i hope this session is useful for you in case if you have any questions queries please do post in my comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching